Family values in America are also on the decline. Divorce rates are up. Millennials right now in America are getting married later. They're buying houses later. They're living with their parents later. And people aren't, they don't care about family values anymore. Look at like fatherlessness rates in so many places. I mean, even myself, I grew up without a father. My father was in jail or prison my entire life. It was a, a terrible thing to have to grow up with that. Luckily, my mother was a wonderful woman and strong and was able to teach me so many you know, masculine values, teach me how to be a man. But you have so many people who disregard the family unit in America. And it's like, it, it's the most important thing, going along with God and those values. If everyone was raised with good family values and God at the same time and those values, we wouldn't be having the problems in this country that we would be having now. It's a fact you wouldn't be having these problems. I mean, when you look at the statistics of people who grow up in two-parent households, I mean, it's just they're better off in every single way. It's just it's, there's no denying that. And a lot of parents I know, uh, I mean, I go to donor events with a bunch of rich old people, and they tell me, and they say, you know, I'm conservative, and but my kids, they've turned to leftism. And I hate to say it to them because I'm standing in their face, but I have to say, you know, maybe it's kind of your fault, you know? And that's like kind of tough, but I think that parents need to take a bigger responsibility in their children's lives. Like conservatives all the time, we talk about this anti-victim culture and we don't want to be victims anymore. And it's like, that's exactly true. So I don't want parents to like just blame the world for the way their kids turn out. Of course, there are external circumstances and things that are terrible in the world. We're going to get to some more of that. But parents have to be actively fighting against that too. Parents have to do a better job with their children. I guarantee you it, it'll be better for the country. The next thing, those, those two things that I talked about, they're the most important because they really focus on yourself. I mean, growing up, I, uh, you know, I, I had not a good relationship with my mother in a lot of ways, especially in college when I was screwing up and doing whatever I really wanted to do, and I blamed her for so much. And now I call her every week. I call my grandparents every week, talk to text my mom every day. I'm so close with her. And it's like I'm a happier, better person, and my mom loves me more. It's like, it, you know, <laughs> she hated me. <laughs> just kidding. She loved me. Um, but, you know, just a, a, a better life in general. So guys in here, I know you don't always want to call your mom. Call your mom. She'll, she'll appreciate it. Call her. Moms love that, okay? I know. I have to call a lot of moms for work, so trust me. They, they love it. But those two, those two things are kind of focused a little bit on yourselves, because kind of like Jordan, Peters, Jordan Peterson says, get your own house in order before, you know, trying to fix the world around you. And that's very important. These two things are very focused on yourself, the Christian values and then fixing your family unit. Fix those two things and then move on to the rest of the world. What's up, guys? Thank you so much for watching this video. PragerU is a 501c3 organization. Help us keep our videos free by making a tax-deductible donation today. I'd really appreciate your support.